Nice to have you back, Cancer. Cancer, wishing you a very healthy and fun-filled January 2023. Welcome to January 2023, Cancer, and Happy New Year. At the end of December, you did your best to balance self-care and socialization during the busyness of the holiday season. Now, to celebrate the new year, the stars say that you deserve a makeover. On Monday, January 2nd, Venus, the planet rules beauty, in addition to money and love, enters free spirit Aquarius and your eighth house of sex, death, and transformation. While the eighth house sounds scary, it's just the makeover part of your chart, whether you're shaking off sexual shame to indulge in a fantasy or treating yourself to a different haircut or color. Even if it's simply picking up some new affordable makeup, early January asks you to treat yourself. Friday, January 6th, brings a full moon in your sign, Cancer. As a result, your confidence is high. Full moons are powerful, and while they can bring drama, they also leave us wanting to indulge in decadence. Right now is the ideal time to lean into your softer Venusian side through beauty rituals, comfy PJs, and long hot baths. Mars, the divine masculine counterpart to Venus, and we all contain both, regardless of our gender or pronouns, the planets do not adhere to society's ridiculous gender norms, is currently retrograde. When it goes direct on Thursday, January 12th, you'll feel more assertive and ready for action. So, until then, catch up on sleep and indulge in vanity. January is filled with planets going direct. It's as if the stars are aligning to bring us the smoothest new year possible, Cancer. Messenger Mercury ends its retrograde which cruelly began right before New Year's, and goes direct on Wednesday, January 18th. You can be a bit nostalgic at times, Cancer, especially if too much champagne is involved, so, frankly, if you survived this Mercury retrograde without texting an ex, give yourself a pat on the back. If you are still harboring feelings for a past relationship, Try to let them go when Aquarius season begins on Friday, January 20th. The next day, a new moon in Rebel Aquarius on Saturday, January 21st, starts a fresh cycle for you. In addition to whatever glam makeover you indulged in earlier this month, this also points to unexpected opportunities both at work and in love. But, in order to see and seize them, you must look forward, not backward. 2023 starts off with an intense full moon that connects with your sun on January 6th. Releasing the residual drama and emotions from the past year will take a toll on your heart, because it'll hurt once you're on the path towards healing, but be rewarding when you are in the recovery phase. As January progresses, you are taking steps to create stronger boundaries with others to ensure that no one is taking advantage of you. One of the lessons that you're taking with you from 2022 into the new year is the certainty that you will be nobody's fool again. When the going gets tough, you're not sticking around to the bitter end. The main focus of the year ahead will only be on you. For you, 2023 is bookmarked by two Cancer full moons, the first of which takes place on Friday, January 6th. This could be a time when the spotlight is on you for one reason or another. Maybe you happen to be wearing an attention-grabbing outfit or are simply recognized for who you are. Either way, you'll feel a swell of energy as we enter the new year. While you may be making forward momentum in some areas of life, work seems busy per usual. Mentally and internally, you may be still searching for answers. Resist the pressure to make decisions at the top of the month, especially when it comes to booking travel and accommodations. Mercury stationed retrograde on December 29th, which could speak to delays and mishaps related to travel, communication, and scheduling. Mars remains retrograde at the start of the year, affecting your mental health. 
If you've been feeling restless and or struggling with sleep for the last two months, that's no surprise, as Mars retrograde likely has you overthinking your career path and professional standing. Additionally, you may have been stuck creatively for some time and this Mars retrograde has enabled you to rethink your passions and desires. On January 12th, Mars finally goes direct, bringing some clarity to your professional and creative visions, and settling some of the internal conflict you may be experiencing. Mercury stations direct the following week on January 18th, making communication and transportation finally run a bit smoother for you. From this point forward, decision-making should become clearer and you will feel more comfortable making choices, such as when and where to spend time abroad this year, and spending money on flights and accommodations. If you're ready to book something for the short term, Pisces season, February 20th to March 19th, is always a good time for you to travel, especially if you can go somewhere with water. If you maintain your focus, you will be able to accomplish your goals. Some external circumstances may interfere with your responsibilities and stress you mentally. Try to maintain calm and focus. Your finances will remain good. You will feel very energetic. Try to direct all the energies towards workouts. Schedule some alone time to refresh and recharge yourself. It is not the best time for love and romance. Towards the middle of the month, some domestic problems may crop up, deal them with calm and peace. Do not overreact and give space in all relationships. And speaking of Aquarius energy, back in August, the sign's ruling planet, eccentric Uranus, went retrograde in your 11th house of friendship. As a result, you saw yourself stepping into caretaker mode and likely hosting dinner parties and holiday get-togethers. It's a role that you excel at, Cancer. However, when Uranus ends its retrograde and goes direct on Sunday, January 22nd, let your friends and lovers take care of you. When abundant Venus enters Pisces and your ninth house of philosophy on Thursday, January 26th, you may find yourself dealing with some resentful thoughts, such as, why do I always have to take care of everyone? And you're absolutely right. Don't be afraid to lean on others during this time. Let a friend pay for dinner, or even be a pillow princess in bed. Enjoy, and see you next month. To get your daily prediction updates from our team of psychics, subscribe to Highest Good and click on the bell notification and never miss a prediction.